Hi science students, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the online graphing calculator called Desmos uh, to plot a scatter plot and get a decay curve for the data from the barium isotope practical. So we should end up with something that looks like this where we have the scatter plot with a decay curve and we have some information about the exponential equation that models the decay. You see I've entered this data here uh, as well. Okay, so I'll open up a new window and go through that from the start. So I'm just going to type in Desmos and it's just at desmos.com. You might find a quicker way to get there. I'll just go tap start graphing. So here we are. Now we can go ahead and type the data in here by adding an item and adding table. All right, like this, and you can add the data one at a time. But I'm going to uh, use this table I had in Excel just to cut and paste because I found it a bit easier to enter this data in here. So I'm going to just select this data like that. I don't select the headings. We don't need that. I'm going to uh, copy it. I'll go back to Desmos. Now, I'm going to go uh, control V to paste that and in it goes and it does the scatter plot for us which is nice okay now I'm going to label the axes on the scatter plot so I go to this uh, spanner icon graph settings and click on that and add a label to the x-axis that's time in seconds and then I'll add a label to the y-axis which is corrected count and we can see that those come up immediately so I'll tap that again and close it up so we can see it better right now we're going to add the decay curve to the uh, graph so I'll tap the plus and I'm going to add item and expression so we're going to use a uh, exponential regression to do this so I'm going to type y1 now I need to open up this keyboard down here to get this approximation sign so I'm going to tap that and then tap the ABC and then I go to this squiggly looking line which means approximate and that's just how Desmos works for regressions okay I'll hide the keypad now I'm going to type here a bracket B close the bracket now I want to make the, the next part a power of like an exponent so I'm going to uh, tap shift and hold it down hold that down shift 6 and see it makes it a power of and then I type in x1 and up comes our decay curve excellent now we want to record this information for our practical write-up so to do that I'll go to the window or the start menu and tap on that I'm going to type in uh, snipping, so S-N-I-P, and there, see the snipping tool comes up? So this will allow us to take some screenshots. So I'll tap on that one, okay, and I'll just go new snip, and I'll get a, a picture of the graph. There he is. Okay, and I'll save this somewhere appropriate, save as... And depending on your the, the computer you're using, maybe, like I'm just going to show this on the desktop here, but uh, I'll go in here and I'll make a new folder. And I'll call it uh, barium prac stuff. That'll do. And I'll go in there. And I'll call this uh, the graph. So I know that that's the picture of the graph and save it. Now come back to Desmos and I want a picture of the information about my uh, equation as well. Oops. So we'll go to snip again, tap on that and go new. And then I'll take a picture of this for my records because we want to write down the equation in our practical report. So I'll save that. And uh, let's call this equation. Okay, so we've saved the stuff that we need and uh, 
we can now go ahead and uh, keep that for our practical report and start doing our other calculations. So thanks for watching the video.